former University College of the Cayman Islands president, Roy Bodden, is set to launch his latest book at the end of the month. The book, From Guardhouse to Glasshouse, is described as a compelling inside look into Cayman politics. And joining me now to discuss his book and the changes he's seen on the local political landscape is author and local academic Roy Bodden. Good evening, Mr. Bodden. Good evening, and thanks for having me on your show. Yes, a pleasure to have you here. And you've brought the books, so I would love to... You have two copies, and, and you were hinting that one might be my copy? <laughs> <laughs> well, after the embargo, certainly. <laughs> well, tell us, what do you cover exactly in the book on local Cayman politics? What's the scope of it? Well, the book has multiple objectives. It's, first of all, an autobiographical story. Mm -hmm. It tells about um, growing up my formative years, how I became interested in public life, the struggles I had coming from a dysfunctional family. And then it goes on to describe in intricate detail the political battles I had to fight, both outside of the Legislative Assembly and inside the Legislative Assembly. And it gives my take on where I see the Cayman Islands maybe heading mm -hmm. and the role that I think contemporary politicians can play in this developing society. Well, what changes have you seen in Cayman politics over the years? Well, you know, I've seen um, now an entrenched party system. When I came out, they were just teams and these were informal. I call them little bands of pirates because <laughs> the membership and the rules change from time to time. So now we have formal political parties. I also, in a section talking about the contemporary Caymanian politician, I write that the, Caymanian, the contemporary Caymanian politician is under greater challenge now than has ever been in the history of the society. And I tell all of the things I see that emits a confusing array of signals that these politicians have to deal with. The rapid pace of development, you know, um, the urge to increase the population, the relationship with the administering power, our own relationship, this whole notion of LGBT mm -hmm. and um, the challenges of youth. Absolutely, a lot of modernizing issues that are coming to the forefront now. And with all of these changes, wh how do you see Cayman politics evolving over the next few years, decade even? Well, I, I suggested that our political leaders need to prepare themselves a little more. For example, we, we have to have a national plan and and that is especially lacking in our immigration policies because let's face facts the society has to grow and in order to grow we have to take in some people because clearly the natural birth rate is not sufficient and so there's a dilemma if we are to maintain the current standard of living the only way to do that is by exp an expanding population so we have to balance that mm -hmm. against the desires and the fears of whom I call established Caymanians. And is that uh, discussed in the book or is that you it certainly is. Okay. It certainly is discussed in the book, yes. And have yes. you had discussions with anyone about the content of your book yet? That, that's been interesting debate. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> um, I, I had advanced copies circulated to people and yeah, I have, I have discussions and I have a comment from one person, I had some more, but they never got to my publisher in time. Certainly. And so, you mentioned something about an embargo. What did you mean by that? Well, I mean that, that we, we don't want the book to get out before the um, launch date, which is the 30th. So we, we don't want it to get out before widely publicized before that time. Okay. And when is the book launch and where the is The book it? launch is March 30th, which is a Saturday at the University of Sir Basil Johnson Hall at the University of College and it's at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock at yeah. the University mm -hmm. Sir Basil. And the book, the book will mm -hmm. sell for $35 but okay. the first 300 purchasers of this book will get the companion volume to this called um, Patronage, Personalities and Parties, Caymanian Politics from 1950 to 2000. So those two volumes, this book for $35 and the complimentary volume 
if you're a, one of the first 300 purchasers, will give you an encyclopedic grasp of Caymanian politics. Well, that's great. So let's make sure that people head out there and get there early to have both. Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. Bowden. Thanks for joining us this evening. And, and, and thank you. And after the embargo, I will gladly <laughs> give you a complimentary copy. I'll hold you to that. Thank yeah. you.